Hey everybody, so today I thought I would give you guys an instructional video on how to do a proper lunge. So there are a lot of ways to do it, but today we wanted to go through a little bit more of a technical side of things. Um, and lunge is one of those things that are so beneficial. So this will be a bit of a longer one, but I'm going to show you all the variations and how they work out best for you and what parts of the body we're going to target. So a lunge is great because it not only hits the front of the legs through the quads, but it also does the gluteus maximus. And depending on where we're moving our body will depend on what part of the body we're actually using the most. So a typical lunge is best to start with our feet shoulder width apart. From here, the idea is that imagine that your feet are on train tracks, right? So when you step forward, you wanna make sure that foot is going on the train track and not coming across yourself. If we come across ourselves, we can become unbalanced really easily. And if you're anything like me, balance is in short supply. So ensuring that we are feet shoulder width apart. Over here, when we step forward, we're stepping straight on that train track. Then as we come down, hands on our hips, we make sure that our pelvic's um, tilted under. So imagine we've got a bowl of water and we wanna make sure that when we step forward, we're not tipping it forward or tipping it back. Keeping the pelvis tucked under, make sure that we have a bowl that can stay full of water. Great little analogy there. So we're in our stepping forward position, belly button, we're not, we're not allowing our hips to tip forward. We're keeping our bum tucked under so our pelvis is nice and tight. And I say to everyone, it's about keeping your, your wee muscles nice and tight, right? You should know where they are. So from here, hands up, keeping our chest up, keeping our torso nice and tall. So from this position, it is lunging forward, but making sure we haven't got our bum back. We're gonna have our belly tucked under, our wee muscles tight, standing up nice and tall and from here the aim of the game is to come down straight down and see here really important is that my knee does not come past my toes right it's really important if we're going past our toes we're putting extra strain on our shins so it's super important to come straight back and making sure that we're going uh, a 90 degree angle with our front knee a 90 degree angle with our back knee and then as we go to come up it's not about pushing forward with our back toe we want to be pushing through the front heel and then using our glute muscles and our inner abductors to squeeze almost to scissor close our legs so from here it's driving through the heel squeezing, <laughs> squeezing and scissoring dogs squeezing and scissoring our body together and squeezing and coming up from here. So squeeze, drive through the heel, squeezing and coming up and standing tall. This is standard. So coming down, straight down, don't have to touch the ground. Squeeze here, push through the heel and stand up and use that glute nice and strong and tall to come up. So from the front, off you go. From the front, it is stepping, I'll oh, change legs, stepping forward on my train tracks, keeping our hips square, belly, uh, bum tucked under, we muscles tight, nice and tall, coming down, control the movement to the base, squeeze and come straight up again, right? The next thing to really look at is ensure what's our knees doing while we're doing the lunge. Is it coming in? Is it flicking out? The objective is, is to make sure that your knee is going towards your second toe in alignment the whole time. So as I'm coming down, watching my knee, making sure it's holding straight and standing back up again. If you're not quite sure, this kind of a video is really great for you to do and sit there and do a few lunges or in front of the mirror, mirror, in front of the mirror and see where everything is going. So from here, straight down, knee straight and strong, coming back up, squeeze that back glute, down straight and strong, squeeze and come back up. It's almost like you want to make sure that your knees are almost doing this sort of a movement throughout, not rigidly, you don't want to do any too much movement through the knee, but that's the kind of pressure. So as I'm coming down, I'm pushing out, pushing out, pushing out, coming in, pushing out, pushing out, pushing out, but not too far. We don't want to have it out too wide. So there are different types of lunges. So you can go straight forward and down and push back, stand up. Then you can come back and you could do out to the side which is slightly wider, but what you want to do is make sure that our knee, we keep the gap, keep open and come down. So this knee is still going straight towards the second toe. This knee is still going straight down and following the foot behind it. So we're not coming in this way, we're keeping it open, which then forces our adductors and our internal, <laughs> our internal on both sides, both muscles to work harder. 
but making sure that as we squeeze to come up, that becomes a harder movement, right? Because we're wider apart. So the body's gonna squeeze not only front and back to come up, we've got to squeeze inwards without squeezing our knees together. So really, really awesome for our legs. Next point to really look at with a, a lunge is, if we come down from here, straight down into my lunge, if I push up and back a bit more, I'm using this glute further. I'm pushing into that heel, pushing back and activating this glute more, which is great for the glutes. If I want to, I could come up and back down halfway and really pump it out. And that's gonna bring it into my quads, especially if I'm coming forward. Just a little bit, we never wanna come past the toes, but just coming down and pushing forward is gonna bring it into my, into my quads, pushing backwards is going to bring it more into my glute. So it depends on which part of the body you want to hit more. But generally, I say mix it up and use all different variations. Now, stepping ball forward versus stepping backwards. So if we're here and I'm stepping backwards, I'm having to use a bit more, a bit of a backwards momentum. So my body's having to use more of my backwards muscles to stop. Whereas if I'm to lunge forward, I'm in a forward momentum and I'm going to bounce back. As I push back, I'm pushing more through that front heel to push back. If I'm stepping from here and stepping backwards, I go to step forward and I'm pushing more with my back foot. So I generally say lunges are amazing and you want to vary them as much as you possibly can. So when you're doing lunges, try the different variations, see what feels good. If you have a niggling position or something that is twinging just be cautious of it reach out to one of the coaches and ask for a bit of guidance but fall in love with lunges walking lunges are amazing compared to stationary lunges um, stationary lunges are great but they don't use as much balance whereas a walking lunge you're continuing the movement and flowing through so it forces you to use more of your core muscles to keep balanced and stable so start off with your stationary lunges forward once they get good then start maybe trying backwards. Once you've done those, now start walking lunges. And walking lunges are very effective for tightening and toning the entire body. And I highly recommend them to add them into each of your fitness activities. Have a great day guys. And if you have any questions, reach out.